Walk forward now. And they're off for the Ballymore Novices Hurdle over two and a half miles, a field of 10 on the short run to the first flight with the wounded knee, the first into stride. Already they cross over flight number one. They're all safely over. Must be dreaming is the back marker with wild shot last but one. On now towards flight two, the wounded knee has the lead. A little keen going into that flight of hurdles. Over in second was Flaming Moon and in third is Mofasa. And then on the inside, it is Music Drive who races just in fourth. Alongside Not Now, Linda, and a little bit wider to those is Apple Away. Then towards the inside rail, Desert Friend, another one who's racing very keenly on this downhill section of the course. He's racing in the last third of the field alongside the grey Sanrique. At the moment, the back marker is Must Be Dreaming, and last but one is Wild Shot. They complete the turn into the long home straight on now towards the third flight of hurdles and it is Gavin Sheehan and the wounded knee who comes towards the third flight and jumps it with a lead of only half a length joined now by Flaming Moon and Sam Twiston Davis up on his outside there's a break now of about two and a half lengths to Mofasa who is racing in third position on this long run now up towards the flight which will last in a circuit's time so Flaming Moon, very keen, lit up now and allowed to stride on into the lead by Sam Twiston Davis. To on the inside, the Wounded Knee, who is now in second. Their little private battle for the early lead has now carried them about four lengths clear of Mofasa, who is in third. And at the moment is clear uh, by another two lengths from the favourite Music Drive, who is in fourth. And then not now Linda as they go over the flight, which will be the last in a circuit's time. At the back of the field, Wild Shot didn't get terribly high. So they set out now on their final circuit and Flaming Moon still wants to go faster than Sam Twiston Davis will allow. But the lead now is extended to six lengths over the wounded knee racing in second. Mufasa is in third. Music Drive in fourth position towards the outside. Apple Away is now in fifth. Not now Linda between rivals is in sixth. Towards the inside rail, Desert Friend and Aidan Coleman are next. Followed out wide by Wild Shot and still the last duo are Must Be Dreaming and San Rique as they now head down the back straight. On towards flight number five and the halfway point. And still the leader is Flaming Moon. The lead now about eight lengths over the Wounded Knee, who crossed that flight in second. Mofasa is in third, and Music Drive in fourth. Still another furlong or so to go before they cross over flight number six. So the leader continues to be Flaming Moon for Ireland. Clear of in second place, the Wounded Knee. Music Drive has now moved into third. Mofasa shuffled back to fourth. Uh, there they're being followed towards the inside by Desert Friend, who is now alongside Apple Away. And then towards the outside of runners is Wild Shot, who's trying to make one or two places as they go over that next flight of hurdles. San Reque was the back marker over that. Also, Apple Away has lost a couple of places in the last furlong or so and must be dreaming still towards the rear of the field. They continue to climb towards the top of the hill and Flaming Moon begins to come back to the field. Flaming Moon's lead now reduced to only three lengths by the Wounded Knee in second as they go over the fourth from home. Then Mofasa towards the outside of Music Drive in a dispute of third and fourth with Desert Friend on the inner making a bit of ground into fifth place. Ahead of Not Now Linda who is in sixth and then Must Be Dreaming and in close quarters there at the back of the field San Rique was hampered and also Apple Away was very badly hampered at the back of the field. So they make the run down the hill. On now towards the final three flights of hurdles in the Ballymore Novices Hurdle, and it's Flaming Moon who still has the lead. To the Wounded Knee, who creeps closer now in second. Mofasa is widest of all on the outside of Music Drive as they cross over that third from home. Next in the field is Wild Shot, another one plotting a wide course. Sticking towards the inside is Desert Friend. They're not now Linda, who is being driven. So too Apple away, San Rique is last, last but one must be dreaming as they now reach the second last and the Wounded Knee on the inside hit the top bar but now has a share of the lead with around the outside Mofasa and between those two is Music Drive who is now being driven along. Wild Shot will make the turn in fourth position and then in fifth is Desert Friend, the longtime leader Flaming Moon has now backed out of it. They race down towards the final foot and a half. Here's the final flight. The Wounded Knee on the far side went for a long one and took it with a lead of 
a length and a half over Mafasa in second. Music Drive is in third and Wild Shot is in fourth. The lead still with the wounded knee and Gavin Sheehan. Mafasa now trying to challenge towards the inside as they race close home. 50 yards to go. Mafasa beginning to get up and it will be Mafasa who wins. The wounded knee in second. Music Drive in third and in fourth was Wild Shot. Well, very excited to get the thoughts of Luca Morgan after Mafasa's win. Uh, he travelled so well in the race. What were your thoughts turning in? Yeah, I thought, you know, jumping two out, I was actually trying to take a pull out of him. He was going so well, and um, he made a bad mistake at the last. I thought that would kind of seal our fate for second, but no, he found really well after the last, which just surprised me a bit. When you say he found pl plenty, I mean, looking at the way the race unfolded, we thought you'd go on and, and win easily. So how much work did it take to recover from that, to go on and win? Yeah, I mean, just at the last, he's landed back end first and lost all momentum. I could, hit, I could feel him take a blow underneath me. So I kind of thought then we were booked for second or third. And as soon as I gave him a flick, he really took off and put his head down. So I was really impressed with him. Experience-wise, he wouldn't have worked very hard to win on his hurdling debut. So how much will this race help him grow up? Yeah, well, I was just saying to Michael and, and his owners then, from his first one to this one was like chalk and cheese, you know. He was ran his snatches a little bit and he talks there and um, he was really on the button today. So if we're going to prove like that again, then, um, you know, he'd be right little horse then. How good is he? I think he's quite good, yeah, but I won't put the mockers on him. Fair enough. Well done. Thanks.